Wow. You're off to me. Hey guys, I'm here at home. We're on lockdown at the moment, not much going on. This is Benji. What's up, Benj? I thought I'd give you a little tour of the place, show you my house, show you what we've got going on. This is the kitchen behind me. Not much going on. But out here, this is the garden. Doubles up as the TTR track right now. TTR track is a must. A few laps of the garden, around the yard, back across the decking. <coughs> the garden's taken a hit from the TTR track. Some serious ruts coming through there, but I'm sure they'll grow back. Through here is Athi Racing HQ. Over here behind me, the office. No one in there today. Over there is the gym. And then through here is the workshop. This is where all the bikes for the race team are prepped, put together. All the equipment gets shipped here, sorted through. Obviously the guys have got to put together a huge amount of equipment. So the guys are constantly building bikes, prepping spares, making sure we've got enough stuff. The next World Cup is never far away, so they always got to have plenty of spares, know where everything is, know exactly how much stuff we've got. Obviously the race team can be quite harsh on bikes, so we go through a lot of stuff. Here we've got my downhill bike. This is a new prototype, so this is why it looks slightly different. We've got the raw lugs here, which means it is straight off the jig, straight out of the 3D printer, straight to HQ, ready to race. We were a bit tight for time, we had a new prototype, so the boys rushed it through, which is amazing for me. It means I get a brand new bike, and means I get to change geometry last minute, but it means we've got the raw look, which I kind of like, I think it's pretty cool. Raw titanium, mixed with the carbon tubes. What do you think? Over here we've got all the bike wash from Kingood. Everything from degreasers, bike wash, shampoos, detailers, polishes. All eco-friendly, all good stuff. Really great company to work with. Obviously the boys have been busy. We've got some spare wheels here. Obviously we were all prepped, ready for the start of the race season when suddenly it all got put on hold. Over here we've got my trail bike. Got the 150 29er, all ready to go. She's a good looking beast. I actually ride this bike all the time. It is pretty sick. Kind of a do everything bike. You can be on the trails, ragging it down the downhill track so you can be out for a pedal and it feels like it can do a bit of everything. And I've given this bike a lot of stick and she's still going. Over here we've got Mechanic Ben's toolbox. Sign of a good mechanic, tidy toolbox. He's a bit anal about it, so I probably shouldn't touch anything. Sweet toolbox set up with the Unior tools. Some pretty decent stuff in there. It's a good looking toolbox. We can take a look at some of the spares drawers, see what the mechanics have got stashed away in here. Looks like Fox kit, spare shocks, bit of a mix. Coil and air, some riders use one, some on the other. More trick stuff spares. Discs, calipers. This drawer. Drawer full of Crank Brothers. What's your favorite color? I'm normally going for the red. Pretty sharp. This room is an entire room dedicated just to tires. Not much headroom to be honest, but a lot of tires. Probably my favorite room. More Contis than you can shake a stick at. That's the workshop. Now we're over to my probably least favorite part of Athi HQ. Welcome to the gym. Not a huge space, but it's got everything you need. The essential 20 gym session. Over here is the squat rack. Spend a lot of time in this. Squats, deadlifts, bench, anything with some big weights. If you're here on your own, get the bars on, get a bit of support. You can load it up with weights and get absolutely crushed underneath it. Over here, we've got the free weights, all the way up to 25 kilos, just in case I want to do some curls. Which I don't. 
don't need to do them today. I think we did them yesterday, luckily. Here's the rowing machine. Pretty miserable, but a bit of an essential again. Good for warm up, good for warm down, good for those hard intervals where you're absolutely smashing it, just writing yourself off and getting out of here. This is the watt bike. Good machine. It's so good for putting down those heavy watts, putting down some big power, being able to monitor what you're doing and really see how it's going, see what you're doing. Disco ball, essential. I think I've worn that out there. Down here, we have the ropes. They're man's ropes. Nothing to say, they're hard work. I don't like them. Just crap, really. Over here, we've got all the bands, stair bands. Shoulder injuries are a constant part of mountain biking. So always trying to physio something, get your shoulder strong, good for warm-ups, good for firing those small rotator cuff muscles that are constantly getting torn off your shoulder. Med ball. You know what that is. So there we have it, that's the gym. So there we go guys. You've seen around the house, you've seen around HQ. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I hope you're all staying safe.